Hello, welcome to the pod, you beautiful bastard. This is episode 191 of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast. Today we're reviewing uh, a film written and directed by the great uh, legendary Jerry Seinfeld called Unfrosted. Apparently this film is based in the, it's a pure historic film of some sort, based in the 1960s about a breakfast war to create the perfect pastry between uh, cereal companies Kellogg's and Post. So this is some sort of based on a true story. Some of, apparently some of the scenes of you know they add a little spice to it, but most of it is a little bit of actuality. The storyline, who wins the breakfast war and whatnot, apparently is somewhat true, but most of it is just uh, uh, fictionalized in a way. So makes sense to me. Anyway, um, let's get down to the review. I mean, I'm frosted as so many fucking actors. I'm surprised I did not see John Cena butt naked or wearing some dress. Some. And what is with John Cena wearing dresses in every bloody film he is in? I'm surprised he didn't make the cut. I guess this was about breakfast, so they didn't want him. I don't know. Put a naked man in there. But we did see Jerry Seinfeld's tuchus. At one point, he was butt naked after being threatened by a bunch of milkmen. What are some of the absurdities of this? There's a gang of milk people that apparently are the strongest. They threaten even the breakfast people. And then there's a there's a gang of post people that, that, that do their breakfast shit. Mm-hmm. And oddly enough, the companies are just next to each other. There's a cere- there's a city of cereal basically. Absolute absurdity. Organized milk. Like it's a gang of some sort. Organized milk. And then there's this whole Cuban thing where a guy sells sugar to these cereal companies. One guy, is Kellogg's, buys all the sugar and preventing Post from making their pastry. So they have to go to Mother Russia to get sugar. And then because they're getting sugar from Russia and what what it ha it somehow happens that is that a fly? That, that that's a fly right there. That's a fly. That is a fly. Oh my god, it's standing still. I wonder how close I can get to it before I Oh I got away. It's gonna beat it. Oh, oh, sorry, for those of you who are listening to the audio, there was a fly on the microphone and I was like trying to beat it out, but whatever. Okay, lost track again. Okay, this film is star started like I already said. It's got a lot of weird scenes to it. Like, how the fuck does John F. Kennedy get into the cereal war? Because one cereal maker decides to go to Russia to get sugar. There's even a scene where, I don't know, Post makes a cereal that's dangerous. But how the fuck does the FDA approve a cereal that makes people noses bleed? Was it that chaotic in the 1960s in the cereal war? Apparently it was. One thing this show does show that this film, naming a product is important. Because once they did all the products, they pretty much did a similar damn thing, if you ask me. Once they did all that, Pop Tarts flew off the shelves and the post country what what name didn't work. And then there's the whole other scene where they there's a live pastry that two niggas are raising together. So there's a bit of homosexuality in this thing as well. Man, you can't make a damn thing without two niggas living together. Okay, it does not necessarily mean if two men live together, they're dating. But it, it kind of makes it weird that they're raising a pastry together. It's supposed to be ha ha funny, but it wasn't. It wasn't ha ha funny. And I have to say, this movie is such a letdown. Such a letdown in so many things. And I'm I'm a little disappointed by it, if I'm to be honest. Like, this film is star-studded, my friend. Like, star-studded. Bill Burr is in this shit. Let me, let me look for the cast list here. 
you you will be surprised who's in here. Of course, the noticeable names that everyone is talking about is the whole, uh, you know, Melissa McCarthy, Hugh Grant, Amy Schumer, Sarah Cooper, Bill Burr, like I already mentioned. Um, just George Wallace is in this shit. George fucking Wallace, a comedy legend. A comedy legend is in this. Peter Dinklage is in this. Legends. Cedric the Entertainer is in this. Tony Hale is in this. Yeah. Sarah Burns is in this. Kel Mooney is in this. Like who else? Mikey D. Jack Branger, if I'm reading that name right. Rachel Harris. Like a lot of actors. Danny Levy, Max Greenfield, Thomas Lennon, Andy Daly, like, for fuck's sake, a lot of people are in this. And you would expect with a star-studded cast, this shit is still garbage. This shit is still trash. This still is rubbish. And I am very disappointed by it. Very disappointed. Extremely disappointed by the level of garbage this is. This is a thumbs down for me. Absolute rubbish. I don't think anyone with the common sense should watch this. I don't even think anyone with kids should let their kids watch this. But hey, it's Kellogg's and Post. And for some weird reason, I didn't even know what Post was. I didn't even know. All I know was Kellogg. I know Kellogg's because they make everything in cereal. They're like Nestle. They make everything with food. They're like Johnson & Johnson. They make everything with skin products and whatnot. They own everything. So I never heard of Post until I saw this film. Again, I'm not American. I've never been to America. I'm in Africa, my friend. I, the grocery stores I've been, I've never seen a Post product. Unless there is a Post product that I'm just not paying attention to that I'm just not aware of. Which makes me a bad consumer in some sort of way. So, yeah. That's horrible on my account. But, this was rubbish. This was a waste of time. They had Bill Burr playing a president. President John F. fucking Kennedy. With somehow they made some sort of weird conspiracy that he was killed for breakfast shit. Related shit. Who the hell wrote the script in this? I know Jerry Seinfeld directed this, but Jesus, what the hell, fam? What the hell? Oh, he wrote it. Andy Robin. Uh, as part of the dumbass niggas who wrote this shit. Jerry Seinfeld wrote the screenplay and directed it. Is rubbish. It's very rubbish. It's a nonsense movie. Six, 96 minutes long. It's fucking too long. It's an empty experience. It's, it's colorful. I'll give you that. But rather disappointing indeed. Uh, anyway, uh, don't watch it. That's my advice. Don't fucking watch it. It's not worth the time. Yep. Well, it's... That's it for me. Yep. This was a letdown. Such a letdown. Well, that's Unfrosted for ya. Unfrosted. By Jerry Seinfeld. Absolute rub. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.